Okay, this video is on water clarity and reading the beach part two. On the first video, we touched on how to read water clarity, what it does for you, what type of fish you're going to catch when the water is clear, and we also touched on a cool little application you can use to pinpoint your spot on the beach. I wanted to bring to you a part two of that video that is going to give you some great links on reading the beach and rips and bowls and troughs. And uh, when I found these videos that I'm about to give you, they were invaluable for me. And uh, I just thought I would share them with you. So uh, in this picture here, I, I dug up, uh, I was on the beach with my granddaughter. And uh, this is a great example of how the water might look dirty the first 40 yards out, but then you can see the water clears up. So, you know, here's a, here's a great example of not giving up on this beach because there's definitely uh, going to be some quality fish out here, even though we have this milk going about halfway out, you can easily cast past that. So anyways, let's get on with it. Uh, I wanted to just quickly review that app you can get for Androids or Apples. It's uh, Commander Compass Go, and it's invaluable for me. It allows me to uh, pinpoint my spot on the beach and walk back to it a day later, a month later. And uh, it's free, and it's um, excellent little app. Highly recommend it. So uh, the other thing I want to do is I want to explain to you that these video links I'm going to give you will be in the information section of this video. And uh, like I said, if you take the time to watch these videos to the end, you're going to learn a lot more about reading the beach and you're going to catch a lot more fish. I guarantee you that more than half of the surf fishermen out there don't know how to read the beach and they wonder why they can't uh, catch fish when the guy 100 yards down the beach is catching them. So. You know, these links will all be in the information section, and I just wanted to briefly touch on uh, all of these videos. You know, this is, uh, this is my first video, the Water Clarity Reading the Beach Part 1. And, um, you know, here, like I say, we talk about uh, water clarity and also using that, uh, that application on your smartphone. Uh, another uh, video that's excellent is this 311 Pope site. This guy's got all sorts of great content uh, for making your own gear uh, similar to my site. And he's got uh, a couple of excellent videos. The first one called Reading the Beach Part 1 Inside Bowl. Uh, and the second one he has is Reading the Beach Part 2 The Rip. So these videos are, are excellent and we also have uh, a fellow by the name of uh, Rich Troxler. Now, he's got a couple of great videos too. This first video basically talks to you about the fundamentals of waves and how they form and how they disappear. So, uh, so that's, a, that's a good video to start with that one. And then uh, his second video uh, goes into identifying uh, the sandbars, troughs, cuts, etc., and how those are natural uh, resources for fish because it's going to wash the bait through these cuts, troughs, etc. So, um, you know, that's a that's a great video as well. So, I uh, I also wanted to mention too that. Uh, when you're on the beach and you identify, let's say, a rip, uh, rips can be pretty dangerous. And my dad once uh, had a situation where a shark pulled one of his surf rods out of the rod holder and he chased it. And little did he know he was chasing that surf rod, an expensive surf rod, well, an expensive reel, into the water and there was a heavy rip. And he started swimming after it. He caught up with the rod and uh, he fought the rip, and uh, it just about did him in. And uh, the only thing I want to throw in there is, is if you ever do find yourself in a situation where you're on the beach and you might get caught in a rip, uh, 
you know, the riptide more commonly referred to, you want to make sure that uh, unless you're really close to the beach, you can try to fight it. But if you find yourself over your head, you know, maybe there was a drop off, the easiest thing to do is just swim with the rip and then, uh, you know, swim out to the right or the left once the, uh, the rip starts to slow down a little bit. So, but anyways, uh, you're going to love these links. Take the time to go through them and watch them in their entirety. You will be a better surf fisherman for it. Um, I, I wasn't going to try to recreate these videos and steal their thunder because, to be honest with you, these guys did such a great job that I, uh, I just thought I would extend that knowledge to you with the link. So like I say, go to the information section and I'll make it easy for you. You can just click on them there. And I, I hope this helps you out. And if you do enjoy these videos and you enjoy going to the other videos I have for you on the Pompano Brownie channel, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell for notifications for new videos that we put out. That'll do it for this video.